Hi, I'm Keith with Studio Binder, and today we're gonna to be talking about shooting a VFX scene. More specifically, we're gonna to try to recreate the bistro scene from Christopher Nolan's Inception. We're dreaming? Seriously, that scene. Here's the catch. My production budget is only $350. Think I could pull it off? You'll have to see for yourself. Listen, we all know filmmaking can be really expensive and that can put limitations on what and how much you can show in your movie. Well, to work around this, many films use visual effects to augment existing footage and push the limits of what's visually possible. The bistro scene from Inception is no exception to this as they used visual effects to augment existing debris flying around. To recreate the scene, we're gonna break down the process into three key phases, planning, shooting, and post-production. To help us put together our game plan, we'll be using Studio Binder's production software. But before we jump into the world of dream manipulation, be sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. Let's jump in. Let's go through our script and tag the obvious items that we need. Let's take a look at the actual movie scene because there might be items in the video that don't appear in the script. So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the... Uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? We're dreaming. <laughs> So we're gonna go over here and add things that aren't called out in the script, but were in the video. Now some of those items are gonna be tricky, like the car and the motorbike, for instance. Since we're shooting in our courtyard, we're not gonna have the capability to bring a car or motorbike in there. So we're gonna solve this using 3D models. Now a lot of people get scared when they hear the word 3D because they think it's complicated or expensive, but that doesn't need to be the case. If you look online, there's a lot of affordable options for pre-built 3D models. I'll show you how to use them in a bit, but for now, let's go ahead and add those things under visual effects. Since we're not working with a multi-million dollar Hollywood budget, we're gonna have to do our best to dress this courtyard with more modest solutions that we can find online. Over here, we'll have our table set up with a chalkboard. And over here, maybe we'll have our car, our motorbike, and behind that, a fruit stand, some paper and boxes. Now on Chris Nolan's actual Inception set, he was able to blow things up to really create that projectile effect and he later augmented this with additional 3D debris. We're gonna use the exact same approach, but since we don't have explosives, we're gonna be using a leaf blower and paper. All right, let's see how much all of the items I needed to buy cost. A lot of the 3D models were free, and the camera gear is all rented. Okay guys, I got my script breakdown. And I also have my shot list. It looks like I have about three different type of setups. The game plan is pretty clear. I think we're ready to shoot. Hey guys, so it looks like we're all ready to shoot. We have actors Jeff and Nora here. We found them on Breakdown Express. And I got my shot list so I know exactly what I need to get. Let's get started. Timing, everything was okay? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay guys, so our shot list is telling us that our next shot of Nora is actually an effects shot. And for that, we're gonna use the green screen. We're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna be blowing paper with a leaf blower. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but here goes nothing. Okay guys, everything seemed to go very well and that's because we were very methodical in our approach. Let's take a look at our footage and bring it into the edit. Every part of filmmaking has its own hurdles, but if you are very organized in pre-production and production, it will definitely show when you begin post-production. For our VFX shots, we'll be using the Element 3D plugin for After Effects to drop in our 3D models. For those who are new to 3D animation, Element 3D is a great plugin that's easy to learn and makes adding 3D models to your footage a breeze in After Effects, and there's a lot of free tutorials online that you can check out. Element 3D accepts OBJ and Cinema 4D 3D file types. You import them in, and you can texture them using your own textures or Element 3D textures. The great thing about using Element 3D is that it renders in real time over your footage in After Effects. You can move it around, you can make changes, you instantly see the results. Like I mentioned during our shoot, these 3D objects, like the car or the motorbike, are going to be added to our live action footage. Also, to augment our particles in the air, we're going to add additional 3D elements to really sell the effect. And finally, for our last shot, we're going to remove the green screen and place that over our plate shot, and now we can move 3D particles behind and in front of her using Element 3D. Okay guys, I think we're pretty happy with that result. Let's take a look. Let me ask you a question. You never really remember the beginning of the dream, do you? You always wind up in the middle of what's happening. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? Well, we came from the... Think about it, Ariane. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. I hope you liked our Inception scene recreation. By having your shot list and your script breakdown prepared in advance, you'll also be able to tackle the trickiest shoots. Do you have an exciting project you're working on? If so, check the description and sign up to Studio Binder. It's free to get started. <laughs>